Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Cool Instagram Inequities um, series. So, if y'all recall in the last two video, we have attempt to you know find a random coefficients, find random numbers to hopefully you know show that um, we can transform these into x plus y plus z. You know, we try two case, um, one with a, a, an okay guessing the second one with a better guessing however still guessing so we didn't get the result we want so is there a way we can systematically find a coefficient is, is there <coughs> a systematic way to get it well it turns out it there is um and we find out in this video so let me go ahead and write down what we have this so far so we have a term two times okay two times to demonstrate to demonstrate that picking picking what picking random coefficient coefficient doesn't work okay so the question of the day question of the day is there a way we can select the coefficient And the, tr the answer is yes, we can. So in other word, uh, in other word, we will introduce introduce A, B, and C. Right. So the reason why we introduce A, B, and C so that you know eventually we can utilize x plus y plus z okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try my best uh to find a b and c so that our inequalities we can make use of the fact that x plus y plus z equal nine and then eventually we can get a problem solved. Another way you can think about it is this more is like fitting. Similar to fitting. You know, when you do um stat statistic or when you do like machine learning, it, it's kind of similar to like fitting. But um we'll see the method right now. So where do we introduce a b and c well square root of 16 minus x square i'm just gonna do some rewrite you notice that so all right do some rearrangement um you notice um where we introduce that so 16 minus x square is the same as 4 minus x times 4 plus x right Okay, this is where I'm going to introduce the first coefficient, a. So, I'm going to time it. So, a squared times 4 minus x, 4 plus x, over a. Oh, and a, b, c is a positive number. a, b, c, greater than 0. Okay. Yeah, usually in inequalities, um, more is the coefficient, not everything is greater than 0. So, to to to, to to ensure that our inequalities will work. Okay, the reason why I introduced a square because it looked nicer in the um, integral, it looked nicer in the the square root, and it's greater than zero, so you don't have to worry about the sign. Um, so um, so you, you times the square root of a square, so you have to divide by a, okay? So let's do another rearrangement. So it's be a squared times four minus a squared x times four plus x over a, right? 
So, and here you can ap apply the AMGM inequality. So, this will be greater or equal, less or equal to AMGM. Um, so, it will be 4A squared minus A squared X plus 4 plus X over 2A. Okay? So, the reason why that is true because if you remember square root of U times V, less or equal to u plus v over 2 and this is the am gm in equality okay so you see previously in the previous video i just say you know we times this um this coefficient right here i say you know we times 9 we times 16 we times 49 we times 1 over 4 um we, we guess randomly um, but it doesn't work. So now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to find that magic number. Okay. By introduce it first and then make it fit our parameters, our constraint. Okay. Um, so you can do the same thing for square root of 25 minus y square. Okay. Let's do it me. So this equal to five minus y time 5 plus y okay and then now i'm going to introduce b square so b square times 5 minus y 5 plus i y over b um so keep on manipulating it will be equal to square root of 5b square minus uh, b y square uh b square y times 5 plus y over b and this will be lesser or equal to 5b square minus b square y plus 5 plus y over b okay so let me do this so that you guys can annotate better um and the last thing is our 36 minus z square you do it you say it's equal to 6 minus z times 6 plus z then and then you say you introduce the c square so c square times 6 minus z 6 plus z over c yeah over c not over c you know like out of the country but yeah you get a point divide by c um so this i can keep on manipulating so it equal to square root of 6 c square minus z c square times 6 plus z over c is less or equal to 6 c square minus z c square plus 6 plus z over 2 c okay so what i have done so far is i say um our left hand side term is less or equal to this term so see yeah let me highlight it for y'all right um and then if you add them up okay so let me do this so you add them up you will get your left hand side or lhs is equal to square root of 16 minus x square plus square root of 25 minus y square plus square root of 36 minus z square lesser or equal to yeah i'm gonna go ahead and add all these up and you notice that i'm gonna do some factoring okay so i'm gonna do some factoring right here so x times y minus a over 2a plus 4a square plus 4 over 2a the reason why I did this is because this term right here, the first term, you see, this term right here, I just put group for a square and 4, and another group is x and minus a square x. Yeah, and that's how you get the result. Okay, and then you can add y times y minus b square over 2b plus 5b square plus 5 over 2b plus z times 1 minus c square over 2c plus 6c square plus 6 over 2c okay 
So you want these to look like 12, right? You you sincerely hope that um yeah, let me see. So what you hope. So the first thing you hope for is, you know, on these term right here equal 12. That's the first thing you hope for, right? Because eventually our goal is to prove the left hand side lesser or equal to 12, right? Okay. And the second thing you hope is you can, we can utilize x plus y plus z equal 9. So in other words, the coefficient of x and the coefficient the coefficient of y and the coefficient of z have to have the ratio of 1 1 1 so that x plus y plus z appear okay because you notice the coefficient is this 1x plus 1y plus 1z so we can make that happen okay so we can definitely make that happen by impose um, appropriate constraint okay so the question is can we find a b or c the answer is yes we can by imposing appropriate appropriate create constraint okay in other words we ask when does the equal sign happen or in other words, we examine the equilibrium equilibrium condition. So the word, the reason why I know the word equilibrium is from thermodynamics and chemistry, but I think we can use this word for this case. So what happened? You want to find A, B, and C, right? So you need some some sort of like system equation. So we have x, y, z, right? We have, we have how many unknown we have? We have six unknown, right? You agree with me? We have a, b, c, x, y, z, right? Uh, and I'm talking about the reason why I'm solving for x, y, z is we, we talk about equilibrium, uh, equilibrium uh, condition. So when the equal sign happen, um, you know, so instead of like, lesser or equal to it just equal to so that's why it has six and uh, no so how many equations we have so far hmm how do we set up these yeah so we just consider when the equilibrium happens so um when this is instead of lesser or equal to becomes equal to well if you recall Square root of u times v equal to u plus v over 2 when u equal v. Just like that. So, what do we have based on that? We have 4a square minus a square x equal 4 plus x. Um, another case we have is 5b square minus b square y equal 5 plus y. How do I get that? Here, you can see. Um, let me show you. So this is our U, the one I'm highlighting yellow. This is our white, our V. So we set these equal, similar, we set these two equal. And we set these two equal. Okay, so we get 6C squared minus ZC squared equal 6 plus Z. And also we have the given case x plus y plus z equal 9 that's what we want right that's the constraint that's a given constraint so given constraint 
okay? Um, but we just have four clues. Oh my god, we need two more, remember? Because we have six unknown and we just have four equations. So, um, remember how I told you that the coefficient have to be 1, 1, 1 ratio? Where did I say that? So, you, you see, this is x plus y plus z, right? So, what is the coefficient we have so far for x, y, and z? So, we have 1a squared, 1 minus a squared over 2a. We have 1 minus b squared over 2b. And we have 1 minus c squared over 2c, right? So the coefficient have to be the ratio of the coefficient have to be one 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 because um the because if that's the case then that we we can factor out x plus y plus z that's when we can use x plus y plus z right so let me say this so be careful yeah. So, um, yeah, let me do some, something like this so you can to utilize one X plus one Y plus one Z. You will have to, this must happen. So the coefficient, so I will coef of X ratio to the coef, coef of Y ratio to the co f z have to be one 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 so what does it mean it means that one minus a square over two a ratio to one minus b square over two b ratio to one minus c square over two c have to be one 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 so what does it mean it means that 1 minus a squared over 2a.